Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn for Life. Today I will unbox the Hikvision camera. This is the dorm camera that is I just bought from online. And I will show you how to set up the cameras at your home by yourself. The first I will unbox these cameras and the second I will so how to download and set up for the application in your smartphone and how to connect to the Wi-Fi network in your home and you can remote it anywhere from anywhere in the world if you have the internet connection so okay first we start how to see the camera how is it please unbox okay come on what is inside as I aware that uh, they will include so, 30 GB, 30, 32 GB of the memory card. Okay, good. This is correct heat vision. Okay, I got it. And one of okay instruction in English. Okay, good. I actually buy. I, I actually got the Chinese instruction, so now I can, I can get English. Okay, so. What is this? Come on, this is the camera. Okay, this is about fifty US dollar. Brand Hick Vision. Okay, it's so cute. It is so cute. All right, so one camera and what inside? This is the wire like a phone charger or USB-C Android device okay it's very long this one we got one cameras and this is oh, it seems like a phone chargers all right the same phone chargers and this is a uh, we can mount to the wall and we can connect with this all right like this okay first we have to screw drill to the wall or to the ceiling and we we can connect with the camera okay and here's the screw all right done oh we got some CD software okay that's all all right so we keep it keep the box and let's see the cameras and we start to connect to the smartphone okay the first we have to plug it into the socket okay one moment All right, so the blue red light coming. Okay, it should be waiting for something. Oh, so this it's fall down. Okay, so the first you have to go to the App Store and download Hig Connect. So here, Hig Connect. Okay, we go to Hig Hig Connect. Set Wi-Fi by Hig Connect. Okay, it. I can hear the voice. Ask me to set the Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is I already click download just now. And if you're not yet, you just tap download here. But now I, I just tap open. All right, when you come in here, it have two options that you can use as, you can log in or you can use as a visitor mode. 
So if you want quick connect, you just tap on vision, vision mode and then you can connect to the device. Or if you want to log in or register, you can just go to log in, tap log in and you can register first because you are the first user. So you can just agree with the term condition, agree. And you can use the number, where are you, phone number. And then I put my phone number here. So wait, I will put my phone number. So I got a message sending to me. This is the security code. And then I just tap it to put in the, the file here. Security code here. So I got the from message here automatically. And then I just tap next. And then I just enter my password. It is a fresh new password. So I can put now. And then uh, just tap finish. Okay. It's so easy. So I got the account right now. So you can just start to add the device. And to add the device, uh, we require you to require the permission from your camera. If not yet, you just tap permission, allow camera to take the photo. And you can just see at the bottom here, the QR code. Uh, it is upside down, okay. So you can just coming so the ID serial number is coming so I suggest you to take a photo for the for the this one you take a photo when you mount on the wall or on the ceiling uh, it is very difficult to add if in the future need this one you will take it down and take the photo for scan the QR code so I recommend to take a photo to keep in your phone and then you in future you can just need from the photo okay and then tap next okay uh, in this case because I didn't connect to the Wi-Fi yet so I will assign this one to, to use the Wi-Fi this is uh, the Wi-Fi password so I will let the camera use my Wi-Fi password okay Password. Then I try to connect. Just put to the other side. Connect to the network. Joint. So this is the camera is joining the Wi-Fi password. Oh, network unavailable. The device is not activated. Set the device password to activate it. Okay, because the device is no, no password. So you can set the pa the password for the device. So in this. I may not show you the Wi-Fi password of my device otherwise you can add <laughs> my camera okay I just put my own password so I can uh, just tap read and agree after you put your own password and please note down and remember and then you agree with the term condition Okay, so it's done. So the camera is add, added. Okay, we just tap next, and you can tie your alias. You can put the camera name to notice that where is the camera if you have more than one. So I can put any name, for example. Okay, and this is uh, will ask you to allow the voice. You can hear the voice from the cameras, people all around the camera and talking. It will be recorded. Okay, so the camera is added. All right.
here is camera okay so you can talk each other or you can turn on two-way communication but right now I am very near so if I turn it on it will be conflict okay and you can talk to each other like your phone call if you are far away from home you can talk each other but it depending on the internet connection and also you can take a video to save direct to phone or photo this is uh, you can take a video and also we have more setting on the app there three dot there and you will see the playback this is playback button and setting so actually uh, you need for the first use you need to go to the setting and you can see overall in the system settings like as a time zone or date format okay if you prefer date month and years but uh, it's not it's not a ball it is fair to I think we need to change the time zone because it doesn't recognize the time zone so if you are in Asia for my location is in Asia so I need to find my location first it should be plus seven or you can see the city name any city name like Bangkok or Hanoi is the same time zone okay or you can remember plus seven or minus two depending on your time zone so I put here says plus seven and then I try to change again DMY okay success so I can change it so it is not much so this is not a notification if you turn it on it will be send the notification every time people in front of the camera any moving subject or moving object will be sent to you by notification so I will show you how to put the SD card okay come on I almost forget okay come on this one so we can turn out first before you put the SD card so it's easy you just take it out from this one all right you just see at the front here will be see this one the color you use your nail okay you can open this one If you feel like it's not correct, you just change the direction. Okay. So you tap it until it's firm like this. Okay, and then close it back. Then you can just plug it back come on so you no need to connect again because you already already connect to the Wi-Fi so just wait for the system startup
Okay, it's coming back now. It's okay to me. No, no. don't come to me. <laughs> okay, she can go this way. Okay, so that's all for me to show you. If you have any questions, just uh, comment down below and then I will show you whatever you ask. Thank you so much. So the first start it will be automatic rotation and then you can move if you like. You can just move to the direction that you want to take a photo. move to anywhere you want okay and then you just keep it and then finish okay bye thank you so much Once again.